They've been left wondering if they will have a home to go back to. 174 vulnerable men who called the downtown Hamilton YMCA home are facing an uncertain future tonight after a fire yesterday afternoon on the building's third floor made the residents uninhabitable for the time being. Sean Cowan joins us live from downtown Hamilton tonight with the latest on this. Good evening, Sean. Good evening, Matt. Well, it's been an emotional 24 hours for many people here, and many people call this place home. They've actually been living here for over a decade, and now they're waiting to get back inside, hoping they don't have to move. Some of the residents who live at the YMCA on James Street say not knowing when they can go back to their individual rooms is tough. I'm, uh, I'm, a, I'm a little emotional. Um, yeah, I, I'm uh, a little taken by it all. I mean, I have... I have mild anxiety issues, and not knowing is the hardest part. I didn't know if they had turned off the power on our floor, and so did all my food in the fridge spoil. I heard that when they went into the rooms, they had to open the windows to get the, the smoke to clear, and they were just knocking things out of the way to get at the windows. And I was thinking, all oh, my plants in the windows, did they just knock all over my plants? I mean, I, that kind of anxiety. According to the YMCA, the men's residence provides clean, safe, and affordable transitional housing for people who are facing both health and social challenges. The cost is $450 a month. 174 people live there, but for now, most of them are using the building's gym for shelter. They set up, um, uh, the Red Cross set up some stuff in the, gym, in the basketball court, so we're sleeping in the basketball court. The gym is a room with about 80 people, and it's not very comfortable, but fine. I mean, it's an emergency. They got to do what they got to do, but only about 80 people stayed, in the, in, stayed there. About 80 people just went and slept on the street because it was more comfortable. But the fire chief says they are expecting more people to head inside tonight. Last night we had 87 folks that were registered uh, that stayed the night and I've just been told that we have up to 118 that have now registered to stay tonight. Um, we're also, food is also being provided. Uh, the Salvation Army and Good Shepherd are involved as well as the City of Hamilton is helping along with that to ensure there's food and water and beverages for the folks. Yesterday afternoon, a fire broke out in a unit on the third floor. While the fire was contained to that unit, there was heavy smoke on the fourth and fifth floors. 24 people were rescued and 11 were sent to the hospital. Two with serious injuries. The fire marshal's office is investigating. And as a result of those injuries, we've been called in to investigate the origin, cause and circumstances of the fire. Um, at this time, we know that a fire occurred on the third floor and we're investigating uh, those circumstances. Any idea, do you, do you know yet how it started? Or? We're still in the preliminary process of the investigation and uh, there's no cause uh, has been determined at this time. And the Ontario Fire Marshal's office is still on scene investigating. And some of the residents I've been speaking with this afternoon say they've been let back into their rooms for just a few minutes to gather some personal belongings, but then they've had to leave again. And I'm told that the Red Cross will remain on site to help out with the displaced residents. I'll send it back inside to you.